How's it going there, folks? Voodoo Stash. Uh, we're going to take a look today at how to increase your activation of your core, of your lower core, your upper core, and your obliques. Those oblique lines here is the body that gives you the body the ability to rotate back and forth to create power. So one area I see a lot of people struggle with is the activation of these obliques, which is the glue that connects our upper and lower halves together. So we have these slings that wrap across our body from your opposite shoulder to your opposite hip. When these obliques get lazy and turn off, your body's gonna be disconnected up here, so you'll be kind of unstable and wobbly. It's gonna make your lower back oftentimes overwork, and it's gonna reduce your likelihood, your ability to be balanced all the time. So we're gonna improve that real quick. Oh, and it'll also make your glutes not turn on as well. So if your abs turn off, if your obliques turn off here, pelvis will tilt, butt doesn't turn on. So all those things can be remedied with this little number here. So this is the curl up. Curl up with a little bit of a twist. So we have that one leg bent. Step number one is taking that pelvis, pulling your hips forward this way. So I'm engaging my lower core. So if I poke below my belly button, it should be rock hard there so I can really feel those guys activating. So that's step number one. Step number two, I'm going to reach my chest up towards the sky. So I'm thinking about my ears, shoulder, and sternum all coming up as one piece. Most of us will come forward and use our neck to raise you up, but we don't want that. So we're gonna tuck, reach your chest up, push your chin back. So I was here, I'm pushing that thing back. And now I'm gonna rotate. Oof. And you're gonna hang out there and breathe for maybe 10, 15, 20, 30 seconds, whatever you can do. <sighs> Trying to keep those shoulders off the ground as you do it. Ooh, come on down. And then to rotate the other way. Tuck, raise it up, pack the chin in. Ooh, rotate. You should be feeling engagement across that lower core and across those obliques. The more you work on that, the more connected your body will be, top to bottom, and across those slings. Enjoy that newfound power and newfound balance.